Hello my dear students and friends, good morning. Today, quadratic equations 4.1. In the 4.1, second sum. In this, uh, what is the second sum? Present the following situations in the, in the form of quadratic equations. Yes, some situations are given. Uh, we have to read the uh, situations and how to understand and write in the quadratic equation. But we need not to solve it. What we have to write only quadratic equation that much. Solvation is the next step. Yes, let us write. First one. The area of the rectangular plot. One rectangular plot is there. Suppose the rectangular plot. plot. The area. The area of the rectangular plot is 520 meters square. This rectangular plot, plot area. How much total? Total area is. 528 meter square. Always area between square meters. Yes. How do we get the area? You know, you see, area, area rule is area is length into breadth. Now length into breadth how 528 meter square. That is given. Area given. Yes. But clue is there. What is clue? The length of the plot. This length of the plot. How? The length of the plot is one more than twice its breadth. It is the breadth. Length of the plot is how? One more than twice its breadth. That is. The length is one plus two. What is one more than twice its breadth? Breadth is the B. It is the breadth twice times. That is two times of the breadth. And that two times, one if we add, the total becomes the length. That is the, now the length is how much? 2B plus 1. 2B plus 1 is it? It is 2B plus 1. 1 plus 2 into B, 2B. It's 2B plus 1, whatever it is. Is it right? That is the situation given. Now what we have to write for that one? We need to we need to find the length and breadth of the plot. Length and the breadth of the plot we have to write. But the situation as per the situation, quadratic equation only we have to write. Less, less yes. Let us write. Yes, length and breadth is area is it it what is the length length is 2b plus 1 length is 2b plus 1 yes in the bracket uh, you write l is equal to 2b plus 1 length is 2b plus 1 into breadth is equal to area how much area 528 meters square that is the equation we got. Next is, let us simplify. B into 2B. Then that means, B means how many B's? 1B. 1 into 2, 2. B into B, B square. That is, B square plus B into 1, 1B. B is equal 528. Let us write an equation 2B square plus B when 528 comes to this side, brings to this side, minus 528 is equal to 0. See, it is in the quadratic equation. Write down. Quadratic equation is AX square, AX square plus BX plus C is equal to 0. Is it okay? Here let us write ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. You see what is uh, a? a is 2. Yes, bx square, b, b, b square means x square root. Suppose and um, b, bx, bx is equal to, uh, here what is? Uh, let us write uh, b into 1, 1 bx, 2 b square is correct. 2b square, yes, here b is 1, yes, 
constant is it is yes now it is in the quadratic form it is in the right now it is in the quadratic quadratic equation that is uh, a x square plus b b x plus c is equal to zero it is two b square plus b minus five twenty eight yes what he has written and what more he asked for oh, find the length and breadth length is length is two b plus one breadth is breadth is is equal to b that was two b plus one meters it is also meters that is we have to write are you able to understand now we have written the equation and what is length what is breadth we found it clearly it is just two marks or one mark question but it uh, looks to be a very big question but don't confuse as for the matter it is given what is given the area is given the area how do we get the uh, this area rectangle area length and breadth length that l into b or x into uh, x into y what are we l into b l into b is equal to area how much area 528 square meters yes b length and b how much length is equal to we have to twice the breadth and one we have to add that is the length length equal to we have to twice the breadth breadth and one we have to add that is that means we have to twice it is the breadth we have to twice it and one we have to more to be plus one that is yes it is it is equal to what length it is equal to what length what is area length into breadth breadth is b length it is length it is breadth when we get product that is equal to that is area yes let us simplify b into 2b 2b square plus 1 into b b is equal to 528 2b square plus b minus 528 is the 528 is equal to is the asked quadratic equation yes length and breadth length and breadth separately we have written length is this much breadth is this much it is the uh, it, it is the length it is the breadth is it right yes thank you next problem let us see what is the next problem yes the product of two consecutive positive integers you know integers first of all you know integers positive values 1 2 3 4 5 so on and zero and negative values minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on these are these three comes under the integers is it right positive integers means 1 2 3 4 5 Negative integers means minus one minus two minus three. Yes, integers. Those are the integers. Next, another word, consecutive. Consecutive means one after one. Next one, next one. Suppose I tell four is the one number. Consecutive number next to four plus one. Is it right? Five is there. Five consecutive number next to number is five plus one. Is it enter? That means four, five, five, six. Next number. That is consecutive. In a uh, in a line. In a proper proper way. Is it enter? Yes. The product of the two consecutive numbers. Now two consecutive numbers. Let us write two consecutive. Let uh, let two consecutive numbers con consecutive numbers yes suppose one x next one is x plus one is it it is these are all you know in order x next x plus one suppose four is one next consecutive number four plus one that means four five six these are the consecutive numbers one after the other next numbers yes sir Yes, two consecutive numbers. Let four take, let five take, hundred take, whatever will be. Next one, one we will be added. Let us take x is the one number. Next number is x plus one number. Two consecutive numbers. These are the two two consecutive numbers. Yes, the product of the 
to constitute positive integers we have to take that is important negative numbers we should not take positive 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so on those numbers we have to take positive integers is product we have to find product is 306 yes this is product product of consecutive numbers consecutive numbers yes yes x x next one is uh, x into x plus 1 yes that is the product product means when do we get product when we multiply the two numbers we can get product when we add two numbers we can get the total of sum is it it the product it is the product let us uh, say the product what is x into x x square plus uh, x into 1 x that is the product let us write x square plus 1 but the positive is equal to how much that is equal to 306 where do we get given in the problem given in the sum given in the book let us sum given in the sum sum in the problem itself is given the product of the two consecutive positive integers is 306 that is what did we do as per the problem as per the matter given as per the situation given we write written but no no newliness is there yes let us see now let us x square plus 1 is equal to 306 therefore x square plus 1 let us bring this side minus 306 is equal to 0 yes it is what is in the form x square plus 1 x square plus sorry x square x into x x square plus x into 1 1 x that is x uh, x x square plus here also x into x x square plus x into 1 x s that is x square plus x minus 306 is the 0 it is in the form of it is in the form form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so it is a quadratic quadratic it is a means in a right letter so x square plus x minus 3 minus 6 is equal to 0 is a quadratic quadratic equation equation yes let you write now what did he ask he has to ask need to integers yes what is this here first first number is right down here here right now I have uh, wipe off it, I wipe off it. Yes, first number is first number is uh, x, next number is next number is x plus 1, x plus 1. Right, right, like that finally. Next, you see what are those numbers? If we do this uh, quadratic equation, we get the do, those two consecutive numbers. Here, no need to solve the problem, but simply write the equations. Are you able to understand? Thank you. Please like and share. Subscribe.